Hi. Yes, I just saw something uh, in the news that really kind of disturbed me and uh, appalled me, so I had to really kind of react. Um, that's why I decided to make this video. It's uh, Poli Malinaji. He was fired by uh, Showtime for uh, alleged racism but <laughs> I read what he actually said it's not racist at all remotely he was actually you know the reason I, I really like Poli Malinaji is that he is one of the very few or maybe the only commentator uh, in the boxing establishment in America which who always says it tells it like it is and he was just being you know he was doing that this time as well he was really being real so what happened is really that he was commenting on Devin Haney's uh, heinous comments about you know like which were which were racist actually that he he said that no no white boy would ever beat him like he would never let a white boy so he's repeating Bernard Hopkins uh, 2008 <laughs> lingo so yeah or jingo whatever you call it um, so Pauli basically said, uh, I don't think he was talking about Lomachenko, he was talking about Luke Campbell. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> and because he, he said uh, he actually, or uh, alluded to the fact that Haney doesn't really believe that he can beat Lomachenko, and he can't really. I, I I really doubt it. Yeah, I mean, if anyone at 135 right now can beat Lomachenko, that is Teofimo Lopez. Maybe, maybe. And uh, I'm not really yet sold on Ryan Garcia yet. But anyway, uh, so Paul Imanagi has been fired for, by Showtime. For this and he also said yeah that's right he said that uh, the the black boxers are not no longer the the dominant force like they were in the 90s and 80s and 70s and yeah the first decade of this century so that uh, yeah <laughs> so this is basically what he said Poli Malinaji he probably wasn't talking about Lomachenko. I assume he was he was talking about Luke Campbell, who I think is the more viable opponent that Haney would be fighting. When you are in your early twenties you probably don't express that very well. It's not something that great to make racial statement statements in twenty twenty, especially with so many racial tensions in the world. And then he was talking, yeah, about, yeah, <laughs> boxing has had its course in history with certain demographics de dominating more than others, right? Maybe like 100 years ago, Irish fighters were better. And then the Jews and the Italians came in. I think the African-American fighter became most dominant in the sport in the 70s, 80s, and even 90s. It's not great to have the race discussion because it's going to coordinate division. It's no longer the time of the African American anymore in boxing. It's the Eastern Europeans that has become the dominant species in boxing. I think stating something like Haney's statement could be very dangerous. So that's what he said, you know. He was uh, just being realistic because but well, I guess these guys at Showtime, they don't like, I mean, <laughs> even if someone is stating the obvious, and that is that Eastern Europeans have become the dominant force in boxing, 
or more dominant than they were before like 20 or or 15 years ago but you know it's really sad when they cannot really I mean take uh, such comments as reasonable which they are they are very reasonable and realistic of course so uh, yeah I mean uh, I mean, Americans have a hard time, uh, at least some some of them ac accepting that fact that, uh, you know, there are a lot of fires, that their fires are not, no longer, you know, as they were, you know, really dominating boxing like 20 years ago, 30 years, because back then it was only, you know, Americans and mostly African Americans there were uh, a few, of course, Mexicans and Puerto Ricans, but very few outside, you know, that whole continent that were, you know, doing well in boxing. Just a few Italians, Frenchmen, Brits, Germans, but, you know, they were never dominant, you know, so I think reason why Pauli was fired is simply because he he said that about you know <laughs> simply this statement about the african-american boxer not being as dominant as or he was or they were and uh, of course <laughs> in a country like USA and in a time like now, right now, you know, with Black Lives Matter and all that stuff, it's very, like, paranoid and uh, sensitive to say such stuff, even if it's true, because he was only reacting on Devin Haney's comments, which were totally, you know, off, off mark, off the mark. So I think it's really, really despicable of Showtime to, to just fire Malinaji. Yeah, but that's, that's, uh, <laughs> that's America. So thank you for watching this and see you. Bye-bye. Uh,